basically i was working in a security domain and uh, like post covid we have seen like security demands uh, like in the industry is in the boom like everyone looking for security people who know more things about security like web app security api mobile cloud so like there are so very vast scope in cyber security so like i already did the ceh in past so i was looking in ec council only key what i can further enhance my skills there like cpen comes in picture because when i see the scope area of cpen that is very huge it's like covering vast domain in cyber security from like uh, uh, rules of engagement to everything Wh- whatever you need to know being in a like as a pen tester so i uh, like i picked this course because i feel it is a much complete compared to industry level so that is why i like uh, plan to go for it journey is uh, definitely important because we say uh, we achieve the certification but uh, what time we spend to learn those skill set that uh, actually matters more uh, compared to i, I will say like uh, even if you failing the certification at some point but uh, the journey you followed if you followed with the honesty and uh, uh, like proper uh, dedication you definitely going to learn a lot because uh when i taken cpent exam that time i can say i have the idea about the how the security things work like uh, uh because i given like uh, cs practical exam so i was aware about tools and all but how to take these knowledge what i have to the next level so the uh, best part like uh, because i taken that self learning uh, material from cpent for cpent exam so where i got the video lecture uh, and uh, i labs also so kevin like did a tremendous uh, job to like explain the topics whether it is related to network pen testing pivoting double pivoting it was really gorgeous way to like teach so like every day like i followed like a two hour i need to spend in uh, just uh, like lectures and then i need to do the hands on along with like job it was like really matters because whatever we are learning we need to practice also then only in cyber security we can pursue further so that journey was really amazing because all the topics which covers in uh, like uh, very first five modules which is related to completely my domains what i wanted to learn and uh, what i wanted to work on in my company also so that really helps then uh, we got like a lot of new topics uh, which we only heard in like uh, uh, iot sakada pen testing ot pen testing which is very new terms for me but uh, if we see the industry right now it's in huge in demand market type of topics which like everyone looking for so i got uh, a really good exposure to get through through these topics also so learning was really amazing for people it's like uh, i learn even like uh, rules of engagement like if you are independent pen tester what should you do how to draft uh, your proposal to the any form like uh, what type of uh, scope area we need to follow uh, like how to pen test everything then uh, it followed through reconnaissance to all the five step which we call a pen testing till reporting it cover every single thing in the course so that is really a great uh, great and uh, complete course i can say so it really helped like uh, journey was really amazing during whole cpent uh, cpent is uh, somehow comes in like uh, perfection level certification where you learn more about uh, industry level like real world scenarios and uh, like it was uh, hard in some part and uh, some part was easy like uh, uh, i have knowledge about uh, ch before ch practical i given so i have aware like awareness about the tools and all but there were some different topics like pivoting double pivoting which i was not aware and i learned during the my learning phase and uh, that uh, when exam is start now uh, the scenarios came like uh, that uh, tools and uh, setup in your machine what machine you are uh, going to work on that is also really matters in your exam because we have two options either we go for like 24 hour exam or 12 to 12 hour two slots so i i choose that uh, 12 to 12 hour two slots because i feel if like i fail at some point in first time then second time i able to manage it and uh, that was the best uh, choose i did because when i started the exam all sudden like uh, what machine i was using that stopped working <laughs> so that was the hardest part like when you are going for exam make sure uh, your machine is running you have power backups and everything proper wifi connection because uh, 
uh, we need to run the tools we it's like open book exam so you need to uh, you can google it also like uh, uh, you can learn the process during the exam also so that is the best part of the exam but uh, uh, if we talk about the hardest part then like uh, uh, there was some time like uh, in my first 12 hour some machines were working like giving the result but in the second 12 hour when i started to uh, try to exploit the same thing it is taking more time because i thought like okay i am ready i will give it shot in the second time so that is really hard like if you are starting something just finish at the same time <laughs> don't uh, take it further to the like next time uh, so that is the only learning thing i think uh, is uh, really matters that is the hardest part how you are processing your exam because 24 hour you need to arrange everything in a proper way and uh, that is the toughest job to do yeah like since beginning i am talking about the course material and uh, like uh, i would say it is very complete like uh, from enumeration to reporting it cover every single topic and there are a very good modules with practice labs are there because i used that uh, like i lab so i can uh, take uh, i lab as a second point because first point we have resource available resource is very good then second we have i labs where you can practice whatever you are learning from the course you can practice those skills there so that will give you the confidence okay i learned this thing now i able to do this thing so second thing this is the very good and the third thing the introduction of a few new uh, area of cyber security like ot and iot which is like completely new for me i never ever used before cpent and uh, then i got the lab practice also on the same topic so it like in future if i want to move to that uh, ot and iot so i have some a base level of knowledge ki, okay where to start so that is very best part so i think these are the three point really uh, amazing during this cpent exam yeah so like lab environment is pretty good and uh, you have a lot of machines available uh, you can uh, move to the windows uh, that is not even limited we have practice labs also there is synopsis also available there and you can follow the synopsis and do the lab apart from that you are free to test your own payload you can write your payload you can work on that there are definitely some set of rules which we need to follow while testing anything but that environment gives us like really good confidence okay, okay what i learned from the lecture we can follow those steps and we can test our skill set whether we are able to do it or not so this is best thing i can say i love the pretty good then uh, there is one practice range labs available during the, before the cpent exam like uh, uh, once you uh, if start your practice range there are uh, you can continue and go for the exam it's like a pretty same environment you are getting as a main uh, exam environment so th those labs are actually very dedicated to uh, end goal like uh, those are also like following the set of real world scenarios so it will really give you the confidence if you are really prepared for the exam or not so uh, like obviously if you skill up yourself uh, it will always helpful in your career or as well as your confidence uh, like uh, you are able to take initiative for anything any job any task so definitely like uh, in my current role uh, i am much involved in the so much pen testing stuff also and that is only because of uh, i have proven skills uh, of cpen and uh, in the uh, overall point of view like uh, this really give you higher morale like you able to talk to anyone about security you have that skill set you know you know this thing and you can guide someone so definitely i am uh, what i get from cpent i am carry forwarding this thing to other people like who are in the, the into the industry and they want to grow and they want to learn i am helping them ki, okay these are the things i learned so i can guide you in that way so this is really helpful obviously career i got uh, pretty good uh, uh, attentions uh, after my cpent exam it's like a really interesting question because we have a lot of other options available in the market uh, which uh, consider as the uh, like same similar uh, type of uh, way of examinations but uh, what uh, really uh, ex better like uh, what made cpen better from other uh, is the set of uh, topics it is covering itself well, like active directory 
and uh, then we have iot and ot which uh, we can't uh, i am not sure if anyone is providing well and good i might be not aware but uh, i didn't see uh, like anywhere you get the practical labs for iot and ot so far so i feel the, these are few topics which made seep and special from the other certifications so like uh, i already did ceh master also so i did ceh then ceh practical then i go for seep and exam so it's, there is a huge gap i can say because uh, what ceh is about uh, overall knowledge of cyber security like uh, you will get to know about uh, uh, policies you will get to know about the tools you will get to know about the vulnerabilities but uh, cpent will give you the exposure like what you know how you can use it further like you are aware about the vulnerability but how to exploit it that will cpent gonna teach you you have uh, like uh, uh, policies but uh, how you can break those policies that cpent will gonna uh, guide you okay, okay this there is a way and uh, then it will uh, give you other scenarios also like you able to find the vulnerability see it give us knowledge okay we can do it uh, uh, wi-fi also but uh, we aware to find the vulnerabilities but how to report to the organization that cpent will give you so i can say like uh, if cpent is ch after ch you are uh, at uh, level zero once you do the cpent definitely you are in level one or two that much of uh, uh, gap filled by the cpent exam it's really uh, if someone will like uh, really listening this interview i would uh, tell them ki surely you should document everything very important thing and uh, it's not just about that uh, cpent exam this is about your complete cyber security domain document everything if you finding something document it take a screenshots you should have a proof of concept ki, okay this is the way you can replicate the attack this is the way you find the vulnerabilities you should document those things first thing second thing you must know like how to do the googling very good googling google docs docs are available you should know how to use google to find the, some relevant and fruitful result from it third point practice range don't miss it don't take it lightly if you're really serious about cpent exam practice range will give you that way if you are uh, like 100 percent confident confident with that practice range exam now then you will surely gonna clear the cpent exam so those three things uh, everyone should uh, follow and they will be definitely lpt master also i can like i did the same thing and i am lpt master as well